we're looking f- to find a golden corral because we've seen a commercial and we are like we are dying to get step into a golden corral because they oh, have a chocolate Walt. fountain. Oh, Walt, have you ever been to a golden corral? <laughs> no, oh, they're pretty bad. What do you mean they're bad? It looks yeah. like a Denny's to me. No, it's like a shit buffet. That they have them down south. Yeah. They have oh. chocolate like fondue? No, chocolate? a chocolate fountain. It looks like, it's like this fountain that just spews chocolate. And you can just eat you chocolate? You just stick your cup under there. Drink, <laughs> drink chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. like Willy Wonka and shit. Yeah, yeah, we cannot wait. We, that's, our, that's one of our things. We're going to put it in GPS Golden Corral when we're in Pennsylvania because I know there's like 60 of them in Pennsylvania. Nice. Hmm. There's only two in New Jersey, like 80 <laughs> miles in either direction from my house. <laughs> Golden Corral. Did it live up to your wildest dreams? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Golden Corral. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate fountain? And don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. Uh, it was a really nice to get away. Um, it really was. It was a nice re- recharger. And um, it was, uh, we figured it out once we got into Pennsylvania where we were. I did a, a like a, ma- a map search on my uh, GPS. Tom Tom. No, no, I don't have. I have it built into the car. I don't even need the Tom Tom anymore. The fuck, you think this is Wolf? It's a flag. Prius. I know. I know. <laughs> what was I thinking? And um, it was like three hours out of the way, and then three hours back to like the route we had to go on the next to the next destination. So it'd be a six-hour diversion to get there. But everybody wanted to do it, so we, we went. <laughs> to Golden Corral? The Six commercial. Hours. I don't know if you've seen the commercial. One way. I haven't. No. The commercials fucking makes – it sells. I'm not much of a commercial guy. Like I haven't seen many commercials that have made me go, I'm buying that. Right. Um, but this one did because of the um, the, cho- the chocolate fountain and the, um, the, the food looked good on, on the camera. And so we were like, we want to go. And when I walked in, we finally got there three hours or six hours, however you want to do it, back and forth. And it was so bright inside and so clean. And um, I was really – I told the kids before we got out of the car, I was like, I almost You're not hope- coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to fuck this up. <laughs> I hope – I almost hope it's not good because if it's great – We'll never be able to come back, and, and that'll be horrible. I'm sure you got your wish. <laughs> no? why, why are you so quick to judge? Because quick. I, I went, walked inside one once, and I was like, oh, my God, and I walked out again. Why? What was wrong with the, with the aesthetics? It's like a third-rate sizzler. Yeah, it was like a sizzler. I didn't realize that, though. But, like, it, you have these stations. It's all really, like, with – it's like – and there's banners hanging. Like I love the kitsch factor of they, they proclaim the chocolate fountain to be almost like a deity. You know? <laughs> I mean, I got a banner that says the home of the eighth wonder of the world. I'd, the I'd, I'd, I'd worship a chocolate fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So we walk in and then I thought we would have to order something like the sizzler. Like you order your meal and then the rest of the stuff, the buffet stuff is just extra. Mm-hmm. Like you can have as much as you want of that. And to much to my shock, it was like, no, no, it's the main food, chicken, steak. Whatever, it's all as much as you can eat. As More excited than any of those kids in Willy Wonka. <laughs> Eight dollars for that. No, that's where I things where I was like, uh oh. Yeah. Because if you can eat as much as you want of all the right. fucking you get steak, what you pay for type thing. Yeah, it must be ass steak. Because <laughs> why on earth would they give you that much steak? I'm thinking. Right. Is ass steak so, good? I'm not even sure of the cut of a beef. Isn't it fl- like flank, flank is isn't best? Ass? I think it's considered the. Well, I meant like human ass. ass. Steak. Where's get him when you need him? <laughs> yeah, he would have the answers. So we, we place our orders, and they, they, you have to – sodas are, 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 I guess, are the thing that they get – they're able to get tips from because they're constantly, like, refilling your soda, and I guess that's how they justify getting a tip for a waitress. So they give us a soda when we order. I take a sip of it, and I was like <laughs> – I was like, oh, man, if they can't get the soda right – Things ain't looking good because the soda was undrinkable. Really? Yeah, it was undrinkable. Grab both your daughters by the hair and fucking <laughs> pull them out of Golden Corral. So we, we start to get food. We slowly come to the realization – quickly come to the realization this is not good food. <laughs> um, and it looks like we're like so fucking the $8 slop tipped you off, ho- didn't cement it. On the, like We look like we're like the biggest skanks on earth because <laughs> we're piling up shit but we're not eating any of it. So it looks like we got so much of it because right. we're like – we take one bite. We're like, oh, fuck that. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Oh, this is awful. So then we're like, all right, let's just do the chocolate fountain and get out of here. And you go up to the chocolate fountain. It's like encased. It's like encased in, gl- in glass. Like like you could get a you get a better shot of touching the Pope when he's driving around in his Pope really? mobile than you would of touching the chocolate fountain. There's like this little hole that you could put a stick in. Uh, but which I guess you makes you go like you know you don't want kids fucking putting their face in there. In and shit. So I guess that makes sense, but. It was kind of like 
You wanted to embrace the chocolate sure. fountain, not put a little stick like in and be like... Like a gloop, just to <laughs> yeah. dive into that river and, and swim around in it. And like, I didn't have any of the chocolate because I, I was like, I'm done. I don't want any of this chocolate. I don't, I'm not going to get fucking shits in the three-hour drive. We got to get home. <laughs> I was say so. It wasn't worth the three hours. So I asked my daughter, I go, how is the chocolate? She goes, I, I never... I hate t- you, Daddy. I, ne- <laughs> <laughs> I never tasted chocolate like that. She goes... <laughs> And my other daughter goes, well, the cotton candy was okay. She goes, and that was the best you could come up with. She goes, the cotton candy was okay. Desperately trying to find something positive yeah, so about it, the ordeal. It was, but you know what? I, I proclaim on the way home, it was so bad that we'll never forget it, which makes it a memorable moment in our family. I'll go with that. <laughs> like rape. Like rape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, never, you'll never get past it. <laughs> well, I'll say, if it was halfway you know how horrible these... that was when you pinned you down? <laughs> Golden Corral is the rape of restaurants. <laughs> if, it was, if, it was run, if it was halfway decent, we'd forget about it. Right. If it was spectacular... Even then, you might forget about Move. it. <laughs> but if it was awful and we were just like, "This is the worst food we've ever tasted," yeah. and we went six hours out of the way, we'll never forget it. It was, it was, a, it was an experience. It was an adventure. Send him a thank you card, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, But you know, you had to. I had to experience it for myself. I don't want anybody else telling me it sucks. That's right. You wouldn't believe me? <laughs> no. You don't want anything. Everything you know sucks. what Sunday Jeff told me, though? Because he asked me. I don't, you know what? It was fucked up. A lot of people were asking me when they came into the store. I, I guess I must have mentioned it on, on the air or on the you show. You did, and yeah. then we mentioned oh, okay. it again last week. Um, but Sunday Jeff goes, how was Golden Corral? And I go, oh, was, I told him the story. I just told you guys. And he goes, yeah, I went there. And I go, what would you think of it? And he goes, well, I have a different palate than you do. And I was just like, what kind of palate is that? A, f- a fucking raccoon that eats garbage? How the fuck is your, how the, how the, is your palate different than mine? And I go, did you like it or did you not like you it? You started squawking like a seagull. <laughs> I was like, how out like, back by the dumpster. Like he, like he was, he was fucking backhanding me with this fucking negative comment that my palate's better than right. yours because I like Golden Corral. Yeah. It, uh, it didn't make no sense. It's not like Top Chef prepared it or something. <laughs> Jesus. But, yeah. Oh, Sunday Jeff. I never thought of him as an elitist yeah, foodie. He is, <laughs> he is though. <laughs>